Welcome back. We're here looking at the energy market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, April 22nd, 2022. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So let's start by looking at WTI oil. And as you can see, we're up 1.95% at this current stage. And the main reason why is because we're bouncing off the 50 moving average. So we could make the case that we have a trend line here that we could should be testing in the future and breaking above this. Well, that opens the door to 109. It opens the door to then to 116 and then towards this area here, roughly from 120 to 130. Breaking below the 50 moving average, well, that opens the door back towards this low here which uh, was roughly this area here so give or take 94 95 area is an area where we should find major um, support so break it below the 50 then we most likely will bounce from here but this is kind of the trend line that we have to break above yeah, if you look at the macd it is uh, above the signal line but it is flat at this current stage stochastic is bullish and the rsi is also fairly bullish at this current stage momentum it's as long as the 50 moving average is holding then it is fair fair to say that momentum is to the upside if we look at natural gas this was all over the place today but uh, there are some signs that we have a lot of resistance above we did rally all the way up towards the 7.131 and then gave all of those gains back if we look at the four hour chart we can basically see it much better it was basically testing the 50 moving average over and over and over again and did not manage to break above the 50 moving average and usually that is a fairly negative sign we can see something similar happening here when testing the 20 uh, simple moving average which is the middle of the bullish band here over 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 again and then you just have a drop below the 50 moving average we are seeing the same here and wouldn't be surprised if we saw a similar candlestick that we saw here happening uh, probably tomorrow session or Monday session and so on. It is fairly over uh, done in the four hour chart. So I, we probably will go sideways for some time, uh, maybe rally up towards the 50 and the middle of the bullish, middle bullish band. Uh, but as we can see, those are major uh, resistant levels uh, or the 50 moving average has become a major resistant level uh, in the four hour chart. So if you go back to the one hour chart, uh, we we are still ending up in green. We have had a major pullback and of course you will have days where it will become green. If you look at the MACD, MACD it is about to cross the signal line indicating bearish momentum. If you look at stochastic, it is bearish and RSI is bearish as well. And now we're no longer overbought. So we may see a lot of choppiness going forward or we have a drop towards the middle of the bullish band or the uh, middle of the bullish band before bouncing and bring it below the middle of the bullish band uh, opens the door all the way down to the uh, 50 moving average. That is one scenario. The other one is that we basically pull back towards the previous highs here. We have this double top area here and that's around give or take 4.5 all the way down to roughly uh, 6.5 and down towards 6.2 that area there we could be bouncing from that area breaking below that then we have a double top here yet again and this is an area of give or take of 5.4 all the way up to 5.6 so around this area and that should be be where the 50 moving average is traveling towards so we're probably running into the 50 moving average and these these two double tops and that should offer quite a lot of support Breaking below that, then we're talking about the 200 moving average, which is most likely going to trend in that direction, and that will be roughly at five dollars. So, if we look at Fibonacci retracement for for this, we can see that we have broken through the first one. It's here, uh, 23.6. And then we have 38.2 that is down here at the 6.3 then we have the 50 here uh, down at the 5.8 
and then we have the 60 all the way down here at 5.2 so if we look at the Fibonacci we could be bouncing off these um, these uh, Fibonacci retracements um, as well so going forward it's just to give, uh, keep an eye out where where this is going um, this rally here didn't even get close to the highs of uh, yesterday and that is a fairly uh, bearish shine if we had it broken above or closed above this candlestick then we may uh, have gone higher but at the moment this is basically um, people selling when this starts to rally and we got today uh, roughly two to two and a half percent to the upside before people starting selling so hope you find this helpful you want to support channel by subscribing hit the like button the bell button to see our newest videos and good luck and thank you very much